Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Now we see the love she has for a baby diamond, a diamond baby, one of them. I don't understand how uh, the baby didn't come back to you, um, Paris. Were you doing something with that dog, girl? Did you whoop that dog or something? Because most dogs that love their family, they usually come back or they don't go nowhere. And if she's always been around when the lawn is getting, getting mowed, uh, something just don't feel, it don't feel right. It don't feel right because I've definitely had a furry baby that I called my son. His name was Elijah. And how did he go nowhere? He ain't he leave the yard. One time we forgot about him. We thought he was in the house and he, we had company over that day. And he was just walking around in the grass in our yard. And when he felt like he wanted to come back, we heard something just scratching, scratching on the door. The outside door. And that was him. I'm like, man, I would have been heartbroken if he left. But he wasn't going nowhere when... Your babies, your fur babies know they love you and um, they can't do without you. You've been treating them right since they came into your life. <sighs> Child, they don't go nowhere. They be sitting right outside like, you thought you got rid of me, but I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay, at least that's what's the um, way my furry baby Elijah acted when we had forgot about him. And he sneaked outside and we didn't know he was outside. But he, he wasn't going nowhere. He was right in the front. Go, I, we, and I actually saw him when I was going out because I, I was so scared. I was, uh, what do you call it, traumatized that, you know, somebody had picked him up and took him or whatever. Because he was a very beautiful dog. And um, child, he was sitting right there like, why did you not see me out here? Why did you lock the door? Why did you close down the garage? What's wrong with you? And when we got him back in the house, he was mad. He was just growling at me and everything. I'm like, I did not know. I did not know. But Miss Paris or Mrs. Paris Hilton, I don't know her last name, so don't get get me. Okay, but her Hollywood name is Paris Hilton, and that's how they had uh, presented her in this article that Page Six wrote up on her about her missing diamond baby. And we have Francesca Bacardi. She wrote it up for Page Six's um, platform. And she titles it, Paris Hilton offers a big reward for missing dog, Diamond Baby. Okay. Paris Hilton is offering a big reward to the person who can return her beloved Diamond Baby. The hotel heiress posted the call to arms on Instagram Monday. Sharing that she believes her famed chihuahua escaped when a moor left one of her doors open. This is so incredibly hard for me to post because I've been at a loss of words. Diamond Baby at Hilton Pets has been missing since last Wednesday. I was at a photo shoot and we're moving houses and one of the movers must have left a door open. Whoa, I thought it was a lawn person. Okay. She had movers in her house and it was going to and fro. But I'm like, girl, if Diamond Baby was that uh, so precious to you, you should have had him at the photo shoot. Because he ain't but yay that big. You know what I'm saying? And he wouldn't cause no trouble. So what, what the hell's going on, girl? But anyway, going back to the article. She says, um, Hilton 41 captioned a series of photos and videos of the pooch. My family and friends have been helping me <coughs> search high and low throughout my entire neighborhood and have gone door to door but we still haven't found her the simple life alarm says she has already hired a pet detective a dog whisperer and a pet psychic and she and her husband carter rerump rump women rium are looking into dog finding drones now 
I'm doing everything in my power to get her back, she wrote. Mm-hmm. Hilton said, Diamond Baby heartbreaking escape has left her so sad and depressed. Uh, I feel like part of me is missing and nothing in the, and nothing is the same without her. Diamond Baby is my everything, truly like a daughter to me. <coughs> she wrote, we were inseparable. She was my best friend and always by my side. The DJ explains that while she was scared to involve the public because people can be cruel, she decided that Diamond Baby's safety came above all else. I'm desperate, and the more time that passes, the farther away I feel from the chances are of me getting her back, she wrote. Hilton concluded her message by saying, <coughs> there will be a big reward for her return and no questions asked. Okay, girl. So, if all y'all out there in the area where she lives, if y'all want some extra money, because this woman is willing to pay now. I don't know what the uh, amount will be because she didn't she didn't disclose that. So she's trying to keep that hush hush too. She better not be paying nobody no hundred dollars if they bring that puppy back, okay? And then maybe a kid found it. You know what I'm saying? They got how you call it attached to her. But again, um, Paris, you see how little that baby is. You shouldn't let that baby out your sight. You shouldn't have. And you know the movies were there too. She should have been, like, on your hip, on your arm, on top of your head, wherever. Diamond Baby should have been on you. But I'm not going to get on you that much because I know you are pretty much bewildered. You are just totally unearthed, okay? You are just totally going to fall down and, and, and have tears coming everywhere. Because I get it. I get it, girl. And I hope Baby Diamond do come, or Diamond Baby do come back. Because it's a terrible thing to have, you know, a little furry friend. And they become a part of your heart. And you treat them just like they are human. Because I still believe uh, pets are human. Especially when it comes to the dog. My man's best friend. Woman's best friend. Because you, you have to take them to the doctor. You got to make sure they get their injection. You know, the shots for the year. You have If they get an earache, a tummy ache, you got to take them to the vet. That's just like a doctor. Hell, they take some of the medications that grown folks take for uh, reef gas reflux or um, they call it uh, uh, upset stomach. They get to take uh, what do you call it, Pepno Bismo. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And then when it's time, you know, we, when we get a little carried away, I can't say, but hey, they 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 just like he was my son. Okay, we used to dress him up and all that. But we just have t-shirts. We don't go on with the crowns and all that kind of stuff. No, 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 no. We even had little shoes for him. But he didn't like the shoes. He took them off. Okay. Uh, now I have the uh, opportunity to have my daughter's furry uh, son. But, you know, it's her son. But he's my grandbaby. Okay. Because I don't think her and her husband going to have no baby. You know, they, they, they just all up in the air with that. Okay. So I just take what I can get. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I really want to know where he at. What he doing. And all that kind of stuff. So I feel your pain. I feel your pain, Paris. And I hope you do get your baby back. Because there's nothing like a, a family member that's missing. You can't tell heads or tails where they at. Whether they, you know, trying to scratch out the door from wherever somebody got them hostage. Or, you know, it, it could have been an innocent mistake. You know, could have been somebody thought the dog was lost. I mean, did you have anything on him? I mean, on her to tell who she belonged to? Did you do any of that, Paris? But anyway... That's neither here nor there. I pray you get your baby back, girl. I pray you get your baby back so you can have some peace of mind, okay? And that's all I got for this story. I ain't got no more. Anybody want to chime in down in the comment section? Can do so, okay? But definitely like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.